Hello. Hello, class. How you doing? Good evening, teacher. Well, pretty fine. Uh, watching some matches and uh, resting. What about you? I'm I'm okay. Who played today? Uh, I like to watch uh, the Lakers. Oh, okay. Yes. I'm always uh, trying to follow all the matches and I like also Barcelona. Okay, good, good for you. Hello, Kelly, how are you? Uh, today it was very busy. Really, why? Mm, because uh, uh, weekend I have a, a a big problem with my car, um, because I park I park at the the car outside my my home, my house, and so then uh, Sunday uh, a thief uh, blew out the the glass of my car. He broke the the glass. Yes. Broke the car, the the glass of the car. So today I have to do many, many, uh, many, uh, many things about because I have to go to the insurance and put the how do you say reclamo claims claims the claim. claim. the claim. yeah claims and now I have to wake so I went to very very late to my work and did they take anything from your car no 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 just to broke the the glass because they had to to start to to sound the the, the car alarm so they disappear immediately and that was by your house yeah oh man Oh man, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, so complicated, but I am now in an I go. <laughs> do you leave so, so do you leave your car like in um hmm? in the normal parking or like in front of your house? Your car in front in front of my house because I live in a main street with and that's the problem that uh, Saturday and Sunday they are a lot of uh bars around here so the people are very happy and they start oh. trying to where, where do you live <laughs> uh, Miral Valle, uh, next to the cocina maria and yeah i was thinking oh, okay yes okay <laughs> yeah you know cool. I, yes. I, hear, I heard it doesn't exist anymore does it still exist yeah there is six now yeah, they, were, they 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 were closest. Uh, every I don't know all the the bars they were closest uh, during the, the, pandemic. the pandemia. Yeah, but now I they are they are open again. Oh. Yeah, I remember Casino Maria was good. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's very happy. <laughs> oh yes, yeah, so, so you live in that zone. So oh yeah. Mm. Oh, okay. Hello, Vivio. How are you? Fine. How was your weekend? Mm, I, my weekend, I was working on Saturday and Sunday. You had to work in the in the electrical company, right? Yes, in the electrical company. And you work Sunday, too. Ugh. What? You work Sunday too. Sunday too, uh, especially in Sunday we have to to work because it's a company of service, and when the another people is resting, we have to work. Yes. Because we can put off the electricity. Oh, it's true. So when do you rest? Do you rest during the week? Sometimes I can have a rest one day a week, 
some time. Wow. That's the life of an ingeniero. <laughs> it's, it's really, it, it's good. I like my job. Yes, I imagine. Okay. Hello, Laura. How was your weekend? Hi. Um, it was good. It was relaxing. <laughs> yes. What did you do? Um, not much. I did some cleaning. Um, watch some YouTube. I heard some podcasts. You know, I'm still on vacation. You heard some what? Oh, podcast. Podcast. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> What about you, Guillermo? Hi, sir. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Oh, well, yeah, I think it was a good weekend. So on Saturday, uh, we had a family lunch at my home. Uh, my siblings and my mom came here and we shared a lunch all together. Oh, good. Yeah, it was very good. Yeah, we cooked some grapes. They were awesome, by the way. You cook some what? Uh, ribs. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. And they were here um, basically in the afternoon. Um, and then we had to clean up the mess that they left. So and on Sundays, basically, I just, uh, just rested yeah, here in my house with my wife. Okay, it was a family weekend. Yeah, family weekend, yeah. Those are the best. Sorry? Those are the best. Oh yeah, you're right, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hello, Gladys. You froze, Gladys. Oh, hi, teacher. Good evening. Sorry, my ear. Hello. Hi. Hello. Yeah, I think we have a bad connection. Can you hear right me now, now? You sound very Android. Yeah, I'm so sorry. It's okay. Uh, no. no. I'll come back. <laughs> yeah, I'll come back to you. Maybe, maybe it's um, it's a, it's, it's just a moment. Yeah, okay. sorry. No, it's okay, it's okay. Janita, how are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. How was your weekend? Well, it's fine, but only tired, but it was fine. I just need my brother, my sister, and their, their phones. I'm sorry, I didn't hear the last part. That I said that I share time with my family, with my siblings, my their their sons, and my mother. It was tired because uh, uh, we are helping a a neighbor. She had an accident with with her son, and with my mother, uh, give her food, uh, make. Uh, cleaning her house and wait she had an accident her with her son yes and a motorcycle and hit them mm. and she is so bad oh man okay. and every weekend we we help we, we help her oh that's good that's good okay good to hear that Okay, class, I'm going to share my screen so we can do the lesson for today. Okay, um, tell me if you can hear. Let's keep on practicing reported speech. Are you ready? Yeah, we can hear. Good. He claimed that. He asked me to. He warned me not to. He promised to. He wanted to know. He explained that. He told me that. He told me to. 
He asked me. He advised me to. He encouraged me to. He wondered. Practice reporting what a classmate told you in class. Your teacher told me you were good at this. He told me that. Okay, um, do you understand the expression, he claimed that? Just is yeah, the same when you. we are moving a report. Okay, can you give me an example? For example, you said what we did on weekend. You asked what we did on the weekend. Okay. Okay, but for example, what is he claimed? Who can give me an example using he claimed? Uh, he claimed that he was the only one working on Sunday. Okay. Also, um, here's an example. Do you know Nicolas Maduro? Yes. Um, I don't know if you saw the news, but he claimed that he has the cure for COVID. Oh, yeah. He has a miracle drops, I think he said, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. So, so it, guy, it, that, that is amazing. <laughs> he's, he, he is unbelievable. But yeah. in this case, it's, he claimed. Es como él está. Oh, okay. He, yeah, you know, he claimed he found the cure for COVID. Christopher mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Columbus claimed America. Oh, okay. Okay. It's like you discover. He's taking possession. He's taking authority. Mm -hmm. Yeah, got it. Yeah, yeah, he claimed. Yes. Um, when Christopher Columbus came to uh, America, he claimed his land his, or he claimed his land to Spain. He asked me to, that we understand, right? Yeah. Or um, for example, what did your supervisor ask you to, Guillermo? Uh, he asked me to hit targets. Okay. He warned me not to. It's like a, a suggestion or, or, or an advice. Yes. Yes. To be cautious. He warned me not to. Mm hmm Next, he promised to. That we understand. Yeah. Like all, all the politicians, they promise to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he wanted to know. He explained that. He told me that. He told me to. He asked me to. He advised me to, he encouraged me to, and he wondered, what did your father encourage you to do, Ovidio? What the, what the question? What did your father encourage you to do? Encourage. If if, for example, when if, if you have to to, to take a, a rule, for example, uh, uh, always be on time in your meeting or or in a place or in a in some for someone. Yes, that is encourage. 
I, I, I understand that. Okay. What it, yes, encourage is for you to do good. It's, it's like teach. No, because for example, my father taught me to drive. Mm. But my father, because he said I was a good driver, he encouraged me to to be a speak the laws. Okay, for example, look, my, my father taught me to play soccer. And every time we played, he encouraged me always to become a soccer player. In Spanish, it's like inculcar. Yes, exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh my, like, come on, you can do it. You can do it. Animar. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. Okay, let's listen to this conversation. Or well, listen to Nicole and Tommy's news. Choose the correct picture. A, B. Uh -oh. We have A, B, C, A, B, or A, B. Nicole A, B, or Tony A, B. So let me see. Listen to Nicole's and Tony's news. Check the correct pictures. Look One. at the pictures. Nicole. I got some incredible news over the weekend. Yeah? What happened, Nicole? Well, my sister is finally getting married. Really? Well, that is exciting. How long have they been seeing each other? Oh, I mean, it's been over four years since they met. My mother has always said that they would get married someday, but no one expected it to happen now. And you know what? The funny part is how it happened. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, listen. My sister told me that they were eating at this fancy restaurant, and while they were reading over the menu, listening to some classical music? Uh, let me guess. He pulled out a ring and asked her to marry him. No, Smarty. The other way around. She asked him. She said she got right down on one knee and proposed. Yeah? Yeah. And he was pretty surprised, I think. But of course, he immediately said yes. Listen, they're planning a wedding for the fall. Well, that is great news. Yeah, and I'm sure they'll be very happy together. Yeah. Now I have to start thinking about the wedding. She asked me if I would be a bridesmaid in the wedding. So, you know, I have to buy a dress, and then I have to... Two. Tony. Why the long face, Tony? Oh, I got some bad news today. What happened? Well, you know my job at the design studio? Yes. Well... Oh, no. Oh, yes. Today, the boss called me into his office and told me they had to lay me off. That means as of April 30th, I'm out of work. Oh. No more job. Oh, Tony, I'm so sorry. You said you really liked working there, too. Yeah, well, it's not all bad news. The boss told me there's still a small chance that the company would call me back in the summer if the work picked up. You never know what'll happen. They may need me then. <sighs> this is so sudden, isn't it? Well, not really. See, the boss also explained that two other employees had already been laid off. I had a feeling I might be the next one in line. You know, I've only been working there ten months, so I don't have any seniority. If they're going to lay someone off, it's always going to be the newer employees first. What are you going to do? Like I said, I've still got a job until the end of the month. Starting in May, I plan to send out resumes and go on some interviews. Depending on the outcome of the interviews, I may be... Okay, so... Number one, Nicole would be A or B? A. 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 And Tony? B or B. Okay, now listen again and choose the best answers 
to the questions. So Nicole's sister met her boyfriend. Nicole's sister is probably, how are things at the designing uh, design studio? When will Tony's job end? Okay, so let's listen to those again. Listen to Nicole's and Tony's news. Can you hear Check it? Check the correct pictures. Yep. One, Nicole. I got some incredible news over the weekend. Yeah? What happened, Nicole? Well, my sister is finally getting married. Really? Well, that is exciting. How long have they been seeing each other? Oh, I mean, it's been over four years since they met. My mother has always said that they would get married someday but no one expected it to happen now. And you know what? The funny part is how it happened. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, listen. My sister told me that they were eating at this fancy restaurant, and while they were reading over the menu, listening to some classical music? Uh, let me guess. He pulled out a ring and asked her to marry him. No, Smarty. The other way around. She asked him. She said she got right down on one knee and proposed. Yeah? Yeah. And he was pretty surprised, I think. But of course, he immediately said yes. Listen, they're planning a wedding for the fall. Well, that is great news. Yeah, and I'm sure they'll be very happy together. Yeah. Now I have to start thinking about the wedding. She asked me if I would be a bridesmaid in the wedding. So, you know, I have to buy a dress, and then I have to... Two, Tony. Why the long face, Tony? Oh, I got some bad news today. What happened? Well, you know my job at the design studio? Yes. Well... Oh, no. Oh, yes. Today, the boss called me into his office and told me they had to lay me off. That means as of April 30th, I'm out of work. Oh. No more job. Oh, Tony, I'm so sorry. You said you really liked working there, too. Yeah, well, it's not all bad news. The boss told me there's still a small chance that the company would call me back in the summer if the work picked up. You never know what'll happen. They may need me then. <sighs> this is so sudden, isn't it? Well, not really. See, the boss also explained that two other employees had already been laid off. I had a feeling I might be the next one in line. You know, I've only been working there ten months, so I don't have any seniority. If they're going to lay someone off, it's always going to be the newer employees first. What are you going to do? Like I said, I've still got a job until the end of the month. Starting in May, I plan to send out resumes and go on some interviews. Depending on the outcome of the interviews, I may be... Okay, so Nicole's sister met her boyfriend. In the fall yesterday or mm -hmm. over four years ago? Over four years ago. Yes, I will. Good. Nicole's sister is probably mm, not, not afraid, afraid to be different. different. All right. How are things at the design studio? There isn't enough work. work. Enough work. When will Tony's job end? April. In, le in less in than a month? Yeah, in less than a month. In less than a month. Mm. All right, we got them all. Yeah. Finally. Next, we have a reading exercise. Cell phones. Personality types. Uh, teacher, can I ask you a question? Please, yes. Um, when he says he pulled out a ring, it means or sacar. Wait, it means the I'm same. Sorry, he means what? When he says he pulls out a ring, it means jalar or sacar. 
Sacar, pull out. And in the other sentence, it says, it happened the other way around. That means vice versa? Yes. Yeah. No, actually no, because no. Uh, the other way around is like, it's not what you were expecting. Like, you know how usually the man always proposes to the woman? Yeah. So in this case, it was the other way around. The woman proposed the to opposite. the man. You like the opposite. It's like the opposite, okay. yes. Okay. And when it says, sorry, uh, they I'm have fine. to lay me, lay me off. Late is the past of, of lay, right? Lay me off. Yes. That is like a polite way of to say to get fired. No, because actually when you get fired, it's be, that's a good question. When you get fired, it's because you did something bad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you get laid off, it's because you didn't do anything bad. But like, for example, in, um, in this pandemic, many people got laid off. Yeah, it's enough work. Yes, because the company can't continue paying you or they have to do a... Uh, reduction. Um, yes. So in that, then, in that case, when you go to an interview and they ask you what happened in your previous job, if you say I got fired, it's negative. But if you say, oh, I got laid off, then oh, okay. So there has to be a reason. Okay. And that it will be mean like the hard year, like something like that? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Is there a, is there a word in Spanish? Porque despedir es bien feo. In yeah. Spanish is suspensión del contrato de trabajo. Okay. Yeah. It's only Thank for a for a for a time. Uh, you are not fired. Al... You can you can re return again. Okay. Interesting. Okay. And what is the meaning of seniority? Seniority. Seniority. Oh, good. That's when you have been in a company for a very, very long time. You have seniority. Seniority. Like experience? Like you're more experienced than the other people? No, not experience. Well, yes, experience, yeah. but you have... um. You have or more time in the in company. company. Uh -huh. It's like uh, when the people work uh, on the gover government. Yes. They stay a long time in the, the, the same position. And yes, because like um, the, the reason why that happens is because like, let's say you make $500. Hmm. But, after, <laughs> but, <laughs> but when you make um, $500, and when you reach seniority, then they can raise your 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 pay to maybe mm. Mm -hmm. you know the, every company has their own laws. Okay. Some people have been in companies man forever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, the meaning of over the weekend, uh, like it says, I got some incredible news over the weekend will be like exactly el fin de semana. En el transcurso de, yes. Okay. O durante, mm -hmm. no problem, good questions. Yeah, so over the weekend, I will paint my house when over the weekend. When? I don't know. Maybe Saturday, maybe Sunday. Leave me alone. No, I'm joking. <laughs> That's over. When you say over the weekend, it's like you've been in general. Okay. So here it says phone, cell phone, personality types. In her travelers, 
or in her travels, the um, telephone doctor Nancy Friedman has noticed a variety of cell phone personalities. Which of these types have you seen around? Can you read the first one, Guillermo? Yeah, the, the shouter. shouter. Yeah, the shouter. Talking three times louder than necessary, it's characteristic of this offensive cell phone user. He seems to think everyone has a hearing, has a hearing. What? In, in, I'm impairment. Sorry, impairment, impairment, right? Impairment. Yeah, impairment. Oh, thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Doesn't he know the phone already amplifies his voice? Oh, that's Good. a question. Doesn't he know the phone already amplifies his voice? Good. So that would be the shouter. Yeah, the shouter. I have a there neighbor like that. Yeah, there are many people. Yes. Okay, good. Thank you. Well, number two, Brian. Okay. So look, number two is empty. So it's up to you to give him a name. Okay. This pompous fellow makes all his business calls in public places while standing in the middle of a crowded room. He conducts big business deals right there in front of us, but we are not impressed. So what do you think he would be? Mm, let me tell, let I don't see. know, maybe. The corporate big shot. Okay, the big shot? Yeah. I think I so. It sounds like he's trying to impress the people by making. So maybe he's a show off? Yeah, show off. It could be. I don't know. The show off. Okay, so we can, okay, but that was good too, the um, big shot, the show off. Okay, number three, Gladys. Yeah, um, this exasperating person makes trivial phone calls. One after another, after another. On airplanes, you'll overhear her saying ridiculous things like, hi, we haven't left yet, or hi, we just landed. Okay, see you in a minute. So which person would that be? Mm -hmm. the, she wants to report everything, so. Yeah. I don't know. What are the options? She over here her saying ridiculous things like, hi, we haven't left yet. Um, she's like the type that informs everything. Mm. Like, yeah. hi, I'm in the car. Hi, we're in traffic. Hi. <laughs> Yeah, come on. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, la 411. ¿Cuál es la información? La 114. ¿Cuál es la información? 114. Yeah, 114. Yeah, la 114. <laughs> the reporter. <laughs> The reporter means. Okay, next one, Laura. Can you read number four? Making and taking calls anytime, anywhere is the trademark of this in infuriate. I don't know how to pronounce that. Infuriating person. Infuriating better person. She'll chat in restaurants, at movie theaters, and even at funerals. When her cell phone rings, she looks at you and says, insincerely, in, I don't know how to say Insincerely? That. Insincerely. Oh, sorry about that. Mm -hmm. I hate that. I remember one time before um, 
Well, I actually with my wife. Um, when when we went out on a date, and um, she started chatting with her friend the whole day, and I remember I I said um, I think it was maybe our third date. And I remember I stood up and I told her, um, excuse me, I'm going to go to the bathroom. Then I left. <laughs> and uh, like 30 minutes later, she called me. And, what, where are you? In my house? 30 minutes. And, you know, it was like we got into this big argument. But in that time, I was thinking like, hey, this is a date. She's not my girlfriend. She's not my wife. So I can stop this now. Because yeah, actually. yeah I really hated that. And I told her, I really hate that. That's, you know. And I didn't care because for me, I was never, ever again going to see her again. I just said, I oh, forget. I'm not going to waste my time on this. But then she called me and she says, you know what? You are so right. Uh, I can't believe I am getting addicted to this, and and thank you for for doing that. And wow, well, you know, now we're married. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, she told me, and even even today, she told me like, if you had never done that, I never maybe would have realized how how dependent I am becoming of the cell phone. And now when we go out. We see that, we see people have, and I'm telling you, in that time there was no no YouTube or Facebook. I mean, yeah, yeah. it was Facebook, but it wasn't that big. Yeah. Now when we go out to dinner and we see couples, it's sad because you just hear, see, see both of them on the phone. Hmm. Yeah. And I said, oh man, I'm glad I don't date anymore because I would be very angry with people. <laughs> <laughs> how yes do you no? say yes um, how do you say hacer las pases I, I remember that it was a word in English make up make make up oh well, like make up yeah but it's, people say like hey let's make up okay. so you and your wife made it up Made up. Made up. Uh, made up. Yes, yes. But you know, I mean, my intention was that I was never going to see her again. No. And and I never thought, but I loved her sincerity. Well, I mean, she called me that night, you know, and I said, I really don't like what you're doing. And I think that's very, I don't know. I don't, I don't like that. And I'm not going to change you. I'm not going to tell you don't do that. I just think it's not necessary to say that. But, you know, and then two days later, it's like when she called me and she says, I'm really, really sorry. And you are right. I've been thinking about that all day. So I wasn't really expecting that. So, yeah, we did made up after that. Good, because <laughs> I imagine I wouldn't have my son. My yeah. son wouldn't exist. Mm -hmm. Is there something you really hate when people do? Well, you know, but that's what that it. What I did was with, with my wife, with my girlfriend in that time. I did what I didn't do in my previous relation. In my previous relation, there were many things I didn't like, and the problem was that I never communicated that. Like I don't like when you do this. And, you know, vice versa, you tell me what you don't like. So after that, I learned that communication is very, very important. So is there something you don't like people to do? Well, yeah. I, think, I think we share the same thing. I don't like that you're talking to someone and that people is mm -hmm. making so all their thing or they, end up, they are not paying attention. Yes, it's true. 
Yeah, I hate when the people get late to the meeting. Let's say you said let's get together at five o'clock and they are showing up at 15 minutes later. I don't know. I'm, I'm very impatient. <laughs> yeah, me too. But you know what I really what I really hate the most after that is when they lie. Yeah, oh, that's the worst. It's like, okay, <laughs> we're going to meet at five. And yes, I understand sometimes there are some incidents, traffic. That's very yeah, understandable. Yeah. But the communication, you know, like maybe if our meeting is at five and you call me at 440, Hi, look, I'm on my way. I may be a little late because there's a little traffic, but I'm on my way. Oh, okay, good. Thank you for calling. Yeah, absolutely. You're right. But I hate it when it's like 510. Hi, look, I'm a little late because there's a lot of traffic. I'm, really? You call me at 510 to tell me that? That's a, and you know, that's a lie. You know that? Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. say another excuse. Say like, oh, look, I'm sorry. I haven't called you because my battery died. But... <laughs> It's there. <laughs> what about you, Laura? What is something you do not like your partner to do? Um, in general, I think I shared with you also. Um, when I talk to people, I like to like be present in the conversation, not being on cell phone or being distracted. And also, I don't like when people is late to our meetings. So yeah, I think I shared that. Mm -hmm. And also, um, according to the options they gave, they give. I think the fourth is the I talk anywhere. They give some options. Oh yeah, they do. So I think the fourth is that one. Yeah, the I talk anywhere. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right now, we're just you know thinking like. Well, if you had to name a person like that, what would you name them? 24-7. The 24-7, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, but I was reading the news. Yeah, yeah. I was reading the news yesterday, I think. Que la PNC capturó al pandillero que acusaba matar a un no sé quién, policía. Y... Roberto Hernández, I think, alias Naga de Res. <laughs> yeah, I read, it too, actually, I read that. Yeah. Did you yeah. read that? <laughs> oh my God, Naga yeah. de Res. Que gangster <laughs> is, uh -huh. I, I also saw another one. It says that the nickname was Chiche de Gata. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can you believe that? Oh, my God. oh my God! <laughs> the security guard by my house, the vigilante, he only has one ear. He lays in taza. <laughs> but very painful, but it's a good one. <laughs> you know, if no, when I moved here, when I moved here, and he came to introduce himself. Hi. What is your name? And I, I don't know his name for years. And I don't know his name because I think he told me, oh, me amo Carlos, pero everybody calls me Taza. And I, <laughs> I, I wanted to laugh so badly. He likes that nickname. Yeah, no, but he was okay with it. You know, he said Taza. And I wanted to laugh so badly. Like, no, no problem. Taza, okay. <laughs> That's funny, imagine that's, But it, it was a, such a perfect name, though. That's a... <laughs> All right. And now, number six, it says, these people who haven't bothered to personalize their ringtone, one phone rings, and 10 people check to see if it's there. Hang on. I think that's my phone. What type of cell phone or user are you? So, yeah, this is like the person that... That's the traditional normal uh, cell phone, right? The the ringtone, then. Mm. Yeah. And the iPhone. So let's see what's up. I'm sorry? What's the WhatsApp uh, ringtone when you get a message? It's like, no, I think that it's mine. Yeah. 
you know you know the message i really hate oh but i really hate that and i always this the first thing i do i take it away is the um the message the ringtone message for messenger a bell Ding. Mm -hmm. because Ding. some yeah. i i really because it's loud uh, and sometimes mm. at night you know like it's two in the morning and ding like oh my god you know who the hell's <laughs> calling me at two in the morning and there's somebody like from australia sending those chain <laughs> but i re i hate that sound i mean uh, when, when i hear it, I, I i when i hear it i get angry So that's the first thing I do when I when I change a cell phone. I change the um, the messenger ringtone. All right. So let's hear it. So text one. Shelter. It would be the generic ring. No. The shelter. Shelter. The shelter. Oh, the shelter. Number two. Remember what is number two? Let me see. Let me open two pages. Oh, the ones that want that likes to inform everything. Number Isn't two it? is oh no, a, a businessman that oh business. business, yeah. So number two would be let me see. The generic, the I talk anywhere, the Distracted driver, the shouter, the useless call maker, the corporate big shot. Yeah. Big shot. It would be that one, right? Yes. Ooh, what is the meaning of big shot? Like the big shot. It's like um, a. Oh, Gladys, do you have a boyfriend? No. Okay. But imagine, imagine, imagine I say, Hey, Janita, you know, I saw Gladys and her boyfriend. He works in, um, he works in the government. Oh, really? Yes, I, I don't know, but I think he's a big shot because he's a boss. Mm -hmm. Someone very important. Yes, he's a big shot. Mm -hmm. Okay. No sé, pero es algo, es algo serio ahí porque la mara. No, algo debe ser porque fíjate que le dicen, le piden permiso y. Sí. So, he's like a big shot. Sí, el, palabra, el palabrero ahí. Eh? Yes. <laughs> well, 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 yeah, you know, like uh, mareros. Creo que antes de meterse. Tienen que ser palabreros, right? And I think they, they escalate. Mm. Entonces, el que les da la orden es el big shot. <laughs> well, he's the boss. He's the man. <laughs> the big shot. Okay, and then let me see. Text three. The third one is in person makes your phone calls. Hello, uh, person makes 24 7 radio phone calls one after another on airplanes over here saying ridiculous things like hi, we're, the, we're here, hi, etc. And there are people like that. Ya estamos en el avión, ya está despegando, ya vamos, ya. So that would be what? The, the yeah, useless. Like, so anyone, anyone. Like, yeah, the useless. Yeah. I think that is the useless. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I agree. agree. Let's, let's, do the, the let's do the useless. All right, let's try that one. Number four, it says, making and taking calls anytime, anywhere, trademark. Oh, that's definitely, I talk anywhere, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Number five is driver or use the phone 
don't do both at the same time. This can be dangerous. It's really scary to see a delivery truck. The distracted driver. Yes. Oh, this I really hate. Yeah, the distracted driver. Uh, one time I was with my father and um, and suddenly this car this car stops in front of us but like just stops and you know we stopped okay nothing it was okay you know something happened but then the the driver was this girl she stopped in the middle of the street and you know okay when somebody stops like that is for a reason you can't get angry well you can say man kids you, you can't stop like that, but okay, something, maybe something happened. And then this person didn't move. And then, you know, I started honking, like, hey, what happened now? And then she just took her, her um, hand down and says, like, go, go, go. I said, are you serious, man? So I had to read, you know, reverse and then go around. And when I stopped, she was chatting. Oh gosh. <laughs> and I said, Are you serious? That's why you stopped? You know, it's because they the way. And you know, like, she was so fresh. Oh my so she was lost. And, and, and I said, so, so that's why you could do that because you're lost. And, you know, and she, she treated me really, really, really bad. And she had a really nice car, but she looked like she was like, a rich type of girl. I promise you, like for five seconds, I thought about getting off the car and just scare her. I wasn't going to do anything, but just like scare her just to see her face like, oh my God, oh, help. <laughs> but now I said, no, forget it. <laughs> no, and I said, what? what? What'd you tell me? Get off. Get off the car. I don't want you know, but then, you know, that, that's not cool. But, you know, <laughs> if I, maybe then that way she will never do that again. Yeah. Because someday, someday somebody will do it and for, for real. Somebody will, will scare her for real. Okay, and the, and the last one, the six is, these are people who haven't bothered to personalize their ringtone. They don't personalize. They stay with the genetic ring. The generic. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Everything good? All right. Cool. My neighbor is all of these. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, my neighbor. They have a they have like a restaurant or a bar, I think. So they always come in very late. They are very nice people. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's only women. It's the mother and the two daughters. They're very nice, but they are very ignorant too. Mm -hmm. So they come in like at three in the morning in the Basai in the block and they start unloaded, unloading everything. And then they, you know, <laughs> I got lucky. And they start screaming like loud. And at three in the morning, everything is so quiet. Yeah. And then you hear everything. Yeah. Then when they start talking on the phone and this and that. But. Pero siempre me dan costilla o algo. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You know, it's like something from the bar here for you. Thank you. Oh, come on. That's right. <laughs> yeah, they give me like, I don't know, maricos, anything. like. So I, I can't be angry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, class. Um, thank you very much. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, see you. Have thank a you. very happy beginning of the week. Good thank night. you. Same for you. Thank, thank you. you. Be good. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.